Now, um, going off of yesterday, um, the past two years, quite a few things have, have happened within the PHC, but one of them was extremely um, upsetting um, that it happened, and this was in July of last year, um, and that was of the untimely passing of one of our founding members, Dr. Kayla Shond, OBE, um, and it was, it was such a shock to all of us um, that he passed, um, and, and particularly uh, to his son, Dr. Asim Mahotra. Um, it was exceedingly upsetting um, because Kalish has just always been such, such a kind and wonderful soul um, to, to all of us. And it was such an honour to have him involved in the PhD from the very beginning. Um, and I think we've got, we've got a nice little video that wraps it up very nicely, um, basically. So uh, we'd, we'd like, to, like to play that in honour of, of such, a, such a great man. Dear friends, with folded hands, I would like to make you aware of the state of NHS. Fascinated by the whole concept of NHS right from my younger days. And I know my colleagues, my consultant friends, my GP friends, they are, believe me, Bill, they are literally exhausted, burnt out. I have seen the misery of people who can't access healthcare. And I think from that day onwards, I always said that healthcare is a fundamental human right. 5th of July is a special day for me. My beloved NHS was born. It's time to pay a real tribute to these exemplary workforce. The philosophy of this present Tory government being somehow kill the NHS over 130,000 deaths. You've given millions and billions of contracts to Tory donors. I have no hope from this new health secretary. They will finish or kill that NHS in my view. NHS is not at breaking point. It's almost breaking. It's being run by the goodwill of its dedicated staff. 5.1 million people are now waiting on the waiting list and almost 20 million people haven't seen uh, either their hospital doctor or their GP. They want to underfund the NHS, they want to downgrade the NHS so that their private air front friends could come and take over healthcare. To the population, my plea is, it's high time. It's no scaremongering. Please, please stand up and be counted and be ready to fight to save up our NHS. Once NHS is gone, it's gone for ever. Make sure that NHS is there to look after our generations, coming generations. Thank you very much. Thank you.